That's true. <laughs> you know who wishes that they had a, they had a, a knife like that is uh, apparently Best Buy. Um, they only hire the cream of the crop when it comes to uh, their employees. Here's some stuff that has been going down recently. Security camera footage. Ah, yeah. Hey, watch. Here you go. Nice average shoppers. Yeah. Well. Oh, free. Yeah. Hmm. Well, at least they're casual about it. Yeah. That one guy can't he can't get the one out. Uh, <laughs> drawing <laughs> any attention. <laughs> oh, and there's blocking. Uh, oh, yeah. There's the one. security guard oh. in the front. Oh. oh. That's just someone who's had enough. <laughs> yeah. He's, I didn't see that before. I saw the part where they were like shuffling back and forth, but not the takedown. That's the first time I've ever seen a Best Buy employee. Every time I'm there, I'm like, hey, could uh, no, no help with Nobody anything? No. I'm going to go. I'll just go online then. <laughs> Thank we'll, you. We'll only help with the 15% restocking fee. Yeah, th then they're happy. The return policy yeah. Yeah. with a 15% restocking it's fee. It's wonderful. Uh, what? Yeah, well, we have to pay it. We have to restock it. You mean you have to take it from me and put it there? And that's 15%. I don't think you deserve 15 an hour. I think you should live under a bridge. Yeah. Now, if you're that nice guy, though, who's tackling them on the way out, yeah. 25 an hour, easy. By the way, that first <laughs> one you could tell, uh, can we watch that again? Play yeah. that again. This is, one of, this is unfortunately, the reality of uh, the racism bred by the rhetoric here in our country. So, of yes. course, you see, okay, look. at look. the top left criminal. More. Everybody else one of them is successful. Is, one of them is eth more uh, ethnic uh, and then look at the uh, look at the one security guard uh, look at the one security guard that, that that employee right there that's a little white guy he's rolling up his pants he's here you go look <laughs> but you see that one guy he's just he's he's white this could be the bay area i have no idea he's rolling up his pants he's like all right okay i've had enough <laughs> yep. yeah call me racist all you want here we go he's like this an nba it. guy he's like <laughs> yeah i could have gone pro this is my moment to get back <laughs> yes exactly well you know it's like in detroit yeah. this is what happens is when you keep re breeding the racial division and telling people they can steal you have people who yeah. are not racist, whether they're white, whether they're Asian, and they say, all right, that's enough. You get rooftop Koreans. You get the Detroit violence where there was the rebound effect after the riots, where then it became, it wasn't yeah. entirely a race war before that. That's actually what sparked what ended up being more of the racial tensions right. in Detroit. It wasn't, it wasn't the culmination to the race riots in Detroit. That made it worse than ever before. And when you allow people to commit crimes and you go, and I'm not saying that all black people are committing crimes. Let's be very clear. What I'm saying is that the leftist party, the Democratic Party, decides to go out and say, well, these people need to be able to, let's be empathetic to it. I'll read you the CDC stats later where they say, well, crime has gone up uh, specifically only one demographic, but it's clearly due to racism. When you do that, the people who are the victims of crimes decide that they've had enough and you run the risk of when you label the criminals exclusively by race but saying but it's, not, it's their race but it's not their fault because of the race it's your fault because of their race guess what people say i guess this is a race thing also the restocking fee <laughs> yes and also well usually when you walk out casually you can get away with it or if an alarm goes off ever like cvs they're just like hey i'm like i'm white and they're like that's fine yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they honestly they don't <laughs> care when i get pulled over by a police officer i have tinted windows highly yeah. illegal and i just roll it down and go and they're like oh sorry <laughs> sir oh geez be on your way i'm sorry sir. and they give you your choice of cupcake or cookie yeah then they see the hodge twin in the passenger seat they're like we're going downtown yes yeah, so go. i didn't know you had your drug dealer with you yeah i didn't know <laughs> I didn't know you had a, what, what is that, blue eyes? Is that a vampire from Blade? Yeah. That's odd. <laughs> Anytime I got caught really shoplifting was I was Day stealing long. a bong that was three feet long, and I just casually put it into a springtime <laughs> jacket. <laughs> I'm sure wherever, the, the locale from which you were stealing the bong, they, 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 they probably weren't on top of it to realize. No, 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 the security guard did, though, and I walked out, and there was a giant mall, and they were like, oh, excuse me, you have a graphics bong with a clown on it hanging yeah. out of your coat, and I was like, what? I was drunk. <laughs> How do you know it's a bunk? Because he just left Spencer's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, I can see the plasma ball in your shorts. Yeah, well, isn't yeah. it? Did you have to bring a lava lamp with you? And <laughs> the poopy poster. And yeah. a Carmen Electra poster? Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, Cindy Crawford drinking a Pepsi. <laughs> uh, all available to minors. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Spencer's. Yeah. Right next to the Yankee Candle Store. Oh, yes. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Two... <laughs> It's the spirit song. of Christmas right next to total degeneracy. Right, yeah. It really is. You guys go over and there and tilt. play in that store. <laughs> I can go pick up a nice Douglas fir scented candle and then a double-sided dildo next yeah. door. Thank you, ah, Spencer's. Wow. A Douglas fir handcuff set. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is Spencer still around? I haven't been to a shopping mall in so. years. I hope not. They they are. They uh, are really? Sadly, yeah, yeah, they are. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.